Thank you very much, Joe and Emma. Your full weather forecast brought to you by Ansley Moore. Ansley has been a realtor since 2013. She works throughout the state of Maine with both buyers and sellers with a focus on the greater Bangor area. Alrighty, we have frost advisories, we have small crowd advisories, we have plenty of alerts we're watching out for this morning, especially the frost advisory which kicks in later on tonight. And that will last until about Saturday morning. So if you have some flowers out there that are very sensitive to the cold, definitely make sure to bring those inside or cover them up. They will get zapped by that frost coming up later on tonight. We also have the small cat advisory in effect until 11 a.m. later on this morning as the winds will finally start to back off. Otherwise, we have a few clouds moving in for the northwest going toward the south and east this morning. We'll get these clouds out of here, give way to a good amount of sunshine. But as high pressure moves in, we might have to watch even for a few clouds during the afternoon period. But again, high pressure will really set up shop later on tonight, and that will mean some cooler temperatures on the way as lows overnight will get into the upper 30s. Let's take a field trip into the tropics right now. This is Fiona, still pretty lopsided with all the convection on its eastern and southeastern side, but still holding on to winds up to around 50 to 60 miles per hour in some areas, though. Moving toward the west at about 50 miles per hour. These orange shades right here, that's a tropical storm watch. These are tropical storm warnings in effect. And this thing will continue to move towards the northwest and a little bit to the west as well. And we'll have to keep an eye on this. This may cause some issues for some of the southeastern United States as it does move toward the north and west. But for now, mainly being expected to maintain as a strong tropical storm as it moves towards the west and then eventually to the north and west. As for the winds back here at home, not too bad. They'll be at around 25 miles per hour. A little gusty today, but starting to back off as we head towards the overnight hours tonight and the daytime tomorrow. Average high is 71 degrees, a lot of 60s on the way for the next several days, but a little warm up on the way by Wednesday to Thursday as the upper 60s to lower 70s will soon make a return. Futurecast moving forward looking pretty nice today though. A lot of sunshine, maybe a few passing clouds for a few of us. Becoming mostly clear later on tonight as high pressure starts to move in and the winds finally back off before you Saturday. A lot of sunshine and maybe a few passing clouds arriving late as we start to welcome in a little bit of precipitation. I'll move in Saturday night in the parts of Sunday morning, but then we're talking more multiple waves because even by Monday morning we'll watch for more rain showers that will continue to move in. But for today though, middle 60s, partly cloudy and windy. The northwest wind getting up to about 25 miles per hour. Later on tonight, upper 30s, mostly clear and cool out there. Maybe some frost possible in a few areas. Northwest wind getting up to about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Ansley more extended forecast for partly cloudy on Saturday. The wind will be calmer with highs in the upper 60s. Then the rain chances move in Sunday, Monday and Tuesday with highs in the 60s.